so I got this 80cc little mini bike and I converted it years ago to the 212 Predator. And uh, I'm gonna do another little upgrade today because I'm tired, uh, tired of dealing with the gas motors. And uh, so I picked up this little 2000 watt kit. I already had the battery, so that's kind of what motivated the change. Uh, I got a 2000 watt uh, battery, 48 volt battery. Just picked it up on Amazon for 150 bucks. And uh, we're gonna work on the conversion. The motor itself and the controller was all set up to actually go in uh, reverse, to go uh, clockwise. And the sprocket is on the left side of the bike, therefore that would put it into reverse. So in order to change that to go forward or counterclockwise, what we had to do is we had to switch the um, on the controller connection here, switch the green and the yellow. So you can see the yellow is here, green's here, and on this side, the green is on the other side and yellow in the middle. So I took the two pins out of here and swapped them. And then on the leads, going from the controller to the motor itself, I swapped the yellow and the blue. So yellow and the blue get swapped. And then when I hit the throttle now, we go in the proper direction. As you can see, nice and slow. Well, it's hard to tell on the camera actually, but the uh, Predator 212 has been completely removed. We're all bare with the uh, chain hanging down. We're gonna still use the on and off switch um, for the electrical connections. So we'll leave that in place. So we'll remove the throttle and the throttle cable and uh, gonna go ahead and get ready to mount this right about in that area. And then I'll, I'll build a box behind there or maybe on top of here for the controller and the battery. So far as I realized that the uh, motor um, and the shaft was a little bit too low. It sat, it sat too low for the um, pulley system. And so what I did is I put it on a piece of three quarter inch plywood to bring it up a little bit higher. In order to line up the chain, what I did is I took a straight edge and I lined it up on the rear sprocket and then made a straight line across this board, made a straight line across the board, put the motor mount, marked the motor mount, pulled the chain tight, put the motor mount, put a perpendicular line on here with this little uh, square and then um, marked the holes for the mounting. So that's where I'm at so far. So the, the sprocket that came for the electric motor is actually for a different size chain. It's for a smaller scooter ch size chain, but this is the number 35 chain. So I ordered a couple of new sprockets. I got a smaller one, I think, an, what is it? A nine tooth and an 11 tooth. Um, so I put the 11 tooth on and uh, it's working well. It's got a little bit less torque, but uh, higher speed. I'm gonna put the uh, nine tooth on and uh, see the difference before I uh, finalize this thing and paint the box up, but it's uh, working well so far. I got the box painted up and everything back together and realized that the kill switch was actually the opposite with this method. So I use a super high tech uh, method of switching it and I scraped off the old symbols and I wrote on and X. So I lubed up the chain. I left the larger sprocket on, the 11 tooth. Um, it definitely has lower end torque, but with the nine tooth, it was popping wheelies a little too easy. And you know, I'd rather have a top end speed. So we got the uh, speed uh, just right. It's cruising at about 25 miles an hour, which is plenty fast for a little bike like this in a neighborhood. But uh, everything's coming together, or came together at least. I didn't use anything too technical to put this together. The most technical tool I used was probably a pocket hole jig for the box that I made. Obviously you can see I just made it out of uh, three quarter inch plywood and mounted everything in there and left the battery here with a little charging adapter hanging out here so I can charge it just like that. And uh, nothing too crazy, nothing too special. I wanted uh, to do it uh, with simple tools in a simple way, but still make it a lot of fun. This is a big battery on this bad boy, so it's probably going to uh, 
last quite a while. And uh, we'll do some test runs tomorrow once this uh, rain dries up. All right, so Ethan here is going to be testing this out for the first time yes. and uh, give you guys a little demo of the 2000 watt conversion on the mini bike. <laughs> that how much did you pull up on that? I I would just sat on my back. Okay. That's what I did. Uh, scary. <laughs> scary. I don't want to pull Come up. on. Alright. Oh no, not quite. So I mean it's safe I mean it's safe to where if you if you wanna just go, it's not gonna accidentally just whip yeah. up on you, right? Oh. I gotta try to get it right where I can just... Okay, now just try and take off fast without a wheelie. Okay. Yeah, so you just lean a little bit forward and no wheelies. All right, so uh, kids have been riding this thing around for about three weeks now. Haven't had any problems with it. Uh, we have not charged the battery once yet. Um, it is a pretty big battery, but it's uh, lasted quite a while. So super happy with the little conversion. Put probably about $400 into it. Maybe more with the price of that battery alone. I forgot I already had the battery, but it's been fun. Well worth it and no more worrying about carburetors and chokes and gas and all the oil and stuff that comes with a gas motor. Thanks for watching.